Hello and welcome to the Functional Skills Network. In this video today, I'm going to do a few questions from uh, section two uh, of a level two paper. Um, this is where the calculator is permitted, so you can see I've got thought I'd show you that. Um, this is from a City and Guilds exam um, and it was put online 2019. Um, just so we know it's not actually very old, it's quite a new one. Um, um, so let's crack on with it. So we've got question one here, make sure we can see it. Okay, just move my piece of paper. All right then, okay. So question one. Uh, so we've got some coordinates here. What uh, point is at three, four? So with these kind of questions, uh, we start at zero um, and we go along the corridor and up the stairs. So what that means is if you've got a positive number first, which we have, we go this direction. If we had a negative number, we would go this direction. But we've got three, four. So that means we've got three across and then it's up or down. So the four is a positive number. It's not a negative. If it said negative four, we would come down to here. But it's a positive four. So we're going to go up one, two, three, four, and we find ourselves at B. So for this question, you would put a tick nice and clearly in B. Right, let's go to question two. Right then, so, right, move my paper. Right, we've got gallon to litres conversion in this question. A lot of kind of uh, ratio kind of question that people don't tend to like. Um, so I'll do a bit of writing on this one. So we've got gallons and we've got litres. Uh, so we've got one gallon is the same as 4.546 litres but we want to know what 10 gallons is so I'm going to put 10 on the gallon side I'm going to get a better pen in a minute as well so what do I do from 1 to get it up to 10 I multiply it by 10 so I do the same to this side I multiply by 10 so a simple way to multiply any number that's got a decimal point in it by 10 is to move the decimal point to the right okay so we're going to end up 45 45 point, go over it again, 4, 6. Let's read the question again. Tick one box. Approximately, we want something that's approximately 45.46. Uh, 0.45, so no, no. 45.5, well, they've rounded it up, haven't they? This question, they've rounded this up to a 5. So for question 2, we would tick C there okay so i'm just going to pause this and start again with the pen 